up beautiful people welcome back to toya ctv i'm back i just got finished watching episode 14 and i had to get into 15 because that episode was crazy Ca cra crazy i can't say it crazy ass carson is dead thank you jesus because he thought he was just a man i'm running this show i'm gonna run through this apartment building we're gonna get these guns back and all of that so he got uh carson got killed by aaron <laughs> i did not see that one coming <laughs> um what else happened herschel <sighs> little baby herschel figured out negan was the bad man that killed his dad and i don't know where he got this gun from but he pulled out a gun on him and i thought he was gonna shoot him but negan talked him down because he was like if you shoot me they're going to hear the gunshots and they're going to come after everybody in here. So he put the gun down. Um, Annie. Ugh. I kind of figured Negan and Annie had something going on when they went into that uh, hideaway room. And he walked up to her and had his hand on her back. And I was like, oh, what's going on here? They are married. Negan, down with the chocolate swirl. <laughs> but yes I'm like okay and um what else happened <sighs> I cannot wait to stupid Sebastian somebody kill him choke him slap him something to him because this spoiled little brat gets on my last nerves every time he is on the screen so he made Daryl and Rosita go to this house where they knew some money was. Um, but he had already been sending people there to try to get it. But of course, everybody died because it was a big herd of walkers. Um, but of course, we I knew Daryl and Rosita would have no problems getting to get into the house, getting the money and everything. And they got it, but they did find one of the girls that told him was you know it was 12 of them that went and she was the only one left but as soon as they showed her i knew she was gonna die okay <laughs> i'm like you just a little side character and y'all gotta walk through walkers she's gonna die and of course she did but mercer and carol came and saved the day and my thing is i'm like why did mercer shoot those two um soldiers I didn't, I didn't understand why he shot them. He probably was just sick and tired of them and knowing they was working with Sebastian because they was like, we don't work for you. Um, He has on the red armor, so that means he is in charge. So, yes, y'all do uh, listen to what he say. But, um, yeah. Ugh. Sebastian paid Daryl and Rosita and they just like, okay. And then at the end, I could not figure her name out from Fear the Walking Dead, but I Googled it. It's June. How can I forget June? June is the one that took the freaking weapons and killed the soldiers. Okay, y'all. So I just came in to freeze this to let you guys know. Like, if you didn't see my previous reaction, I know that's not June. I know that is Leah. To me, at first glance, she looked like June. But I know that's not her. I just wanted to come in and clarify again. Okay, let's get back to it. I'm like, well, so was she by herself? But we all know if you watch Fear the Walking Dead, June is a badass. So I can see her taking on them uh, soldiers because all they have is guns. They don't really know how to fight. All they know how to do is aim and shoot. <laughs> but like when it comes to like fighting or you got to go through walkers without a gun, they have they, no clue. But anywho, I'm ready to get into this episode because, like I said, we got crossover action coming. Fear and The Walking Dead. <laughs> but yes. And I also heard that because this is the last and final season, that Morgan is going to come back. So I think he's going to come back for the last eight episodes. And I'm here for it. But anywho, and I hope we see Michonne at the end. And Andrew, I knew, I knew Rick 
I mean, Rick was here in Atlanta because I live in Atlanta. It was pictures circulating of him being here in Atlanta. And I'm like, what other reason does he have to be in Atlanta but to be uh, recording a episode of an episode or two of The Walking Dead? Now, if we could get Denai back, yes. Okay. Who else didn't die but left? That was it. Everybody else died. But yes. Okay. I done enough talking. How much? I done talked for five minutes. <laughs> That's, that's enough. So, if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. And enough talking because I talk too long. Let's get right into it. Woo! Oh, Carlson. They ate you up, buddy. <laughs> and they full and sleep. Not they scoping the scene. Are they for real in an apocalypse? Marking down bullet shells? Oh, creepy ass Lance. <laughs> They're going to agree with them. That's right. We stick together. This monster's on the loose. We need to smoke them out. Oh my gosh. We'll start with the hilltop. See if our friends heard anything. Oh my gosh, that's where they at too. Oh. Is that princess? Oh! <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> I bet you it was fun. And the night before. Oh. You should be looking at him. <laughs> oh, Dex is so cute. Yes, you two. I'm here for it. The black and brown love. Sebastian and some of his cronies forced Daryl and I to steal cash from an abandoned house outside the perimeter. There was a woman there. They had done this before. They had sent civilians in and none of them made it out alive. There are good people here. They need to know the truth. Uh oh. Rosita, you starting something. But just gonna pay oh, that list of names. April. We need inside access to dig it out. Why are you raising your hand? <laughs> oh. Max. Okay. What's going on here? Huh? They're like, hey, we got people coming. <laughs> oh my gosh. There you go. Boo. Come on. Hey. Right across the face. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god, look at his creepy ass face. This man is drinking and popping pills. Oh, I feel so bad for him. She needs a small procedure. If we can take care of it outside the system, we won't sort of procedure. That ain't small. This is incredibly risky. I understand. And, and, and not just for her, for, for everyone involved. Just a humble delivery, boy. Oh, please don't get caught or seen. I don't understand. You want me to look for secret files? Yes. Files. People have died. More are missing. Your brother can corroborate. Michael? He was there, too. What do you want? There are some killers on the loose. We lost a lot of men. So I'm hunting them down. So you wouldn't mind if we took a quick look around, right? Rule you all out? Um, no. For the paperwork. No. Bump your paperwork. I gave you my answer. Right, because they're not a part of your community. Ooh, look at his face. Look at his face. 
Come on. I knew this was the part. It doesn't have to be this way. Nobody leaving until they look around. But my thing is, that Hilltop is not a part of Commonwealth. So, creepy ass land, you can't just come barge in here. Oh, he makes me mad. Yes, work out, Mercer. Uh, Sebastian, <laughs> a heist, people missing. Sounds like you already know. But I want to hear from you. People hurt each other, people kill each other, it happens all. Not all of us view human lives as acceptable losses. Ezekiel. Y'all, please do not get caught. Please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I knew it. You know we found tire tracks at the scene. Not a lot of cars running these days. You got something you want to say, what you just say? Stating the facts. They'll slam his head in the doggone hood. See if I've got the magic touch. Oh my gosh. Maggie, stop looking scared. You don't have the magic touch because you evil. <laughs> oh wait, it was an animal. An animal, cause he do work at the the zoo. No, she's not. Is my patient already here? Teresa's in the back. Is it an animal? Oh, I thought she was about to say something crazy. Long time. All my life trying to keep it together. Safe, solid for everyone else. It's the only thing I know. The only thing I'm good at. No. Why don't we go inside? Go inside? And we figure it out together. Oh, princess. You've had a pretty exciting life, young man. Oh my gosh. Taking any exciting trips lately? Don't listen to him. Don't listen to him. I should probably go get my mom. Yep. Hey, hold on a second. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's his hat. Oh, that hat was at the place. What are the odds? Yes, he's uh, Elijah. That's right, Daryl. I'm a nice guy, man. I'll even let you back down. You know I'm just hurt. Plenty of others made the mistake of threatening my family. Most of them are dead now. <laughs> so unless you want to die for nothing, time to drop the guns before something really fucking bad happens. Yes, Daryl. This is the second time Daryl dropped the F-bomb. Yes, trust me. Oh, my God. Okay. How can we help? Ezekiel, take over bagging. Uh, Theo, go back to the hospital. Get more antibiotics. Take antibiotics. He's sweating. Don't you suppose they have, like, a face mask and stuff on? This is not sanitary. They did it. I'm all sitting all tense. There are 
is no choice because there is no back to normal. Right. We know what we know. Whatever we find, whatever comes our way, you will not face it alone. I'll be by your side, hell or high water. <laughs> Y'all about to kiss? Oh, here come the lean in. Go ahead, Ezekiel. I mean, Eugene. Oh, Eugene, you got a kiss. There go June. June. Oh, I think she heard them when they was coming up. June ain't stupid. She must have had a secret. <gasps> oh, June! Wait, hold your fire. We're here to talk. No, you're not. Talk fast. <laughs> That's not June. What am I talking about? That is what you call it. Lance Hornsby. I'm here to offer you a job. That's Daryl's girlfriend. That's what you call it. Well, I'm about to watch the next episode, where well, the mid-season finale. Oh my gosh! All right, folks. So that was episode 15, and all this time I was like, "Oh, that's June from Fear the Walking Dead." No, that is Leah. I knew Leah would come back, but her and June do look alike. <laughs> But anyway, I don't know why I thought that was June. <laughs> I thought it was crossing over. But that was Leah. Uh, is it Leah? Yes, yeah, Leah. Yeah. Is it? Yes, yeah, Leah. <laughs> I can't remember these people's names. But anyway, uh, it was her all along. <sighs> and then Maggie, I don't know why creepy ass Lance thought Maggie was just going to let him in Hilltop. Yeah, come on in. You can take a look around. No. It took Daryl to get her to let them in. And then he want to go and try to uh, talk uh, Herschel into telling him what happened or where the, the bad people were because he found his freaking hat at the freaking apartment building. <sighs> then, uh, what? Ezekiel. <laughs> Ezekiel got Tommy to freaking, I guess they got their own little side medical department hidden into the, the uh, where the animals are, which is, I know it's not sanitary in there, <laughs> but you got to do what you got to do. And hopefully that lady survived that he uh, operated on. But, um. And I want to know what Carol's job is that she got Ezekiel and Tommy out of going to jail or getting in trouble or whatever. And Tommy was a freaking wreck. His anxiety was on 1,000 when he thought they was going to get put in jail. <laughs> then, uh, uh, uh creepy ass land. I can't wait for somebody to get him and stupid ass Sebastian, okay? I can't wait for them two to get it. But let's go to freaking a Mercer and Princess. The little cute little couple. The brown and black love. <laughs> but yes. Like. And then. I'm talking about and then. Like I just said something. <laughs> but I like them two together. I thought they was always cute together when Princess was flirting with him. And it's good that he opened up to her like. He always the one that help everybody, but, and he hold, hold, uh, stuff in and just make sure everybody okay. And there's a lot of people out here that does that, that make sure everybody okay. Nobody really check on them. And then all of a sudden they just have a breakdown. And I think that was Mercer's moment with opening up to, um, Princess. Oh, uh, what else happened? I still can't believe I thought it was June and not Leah. Um, what else happened? Was that it? Well, I'm about to watch the mid-season finale because, yes, it, it looks like it's about to go down. Go down, go down. Oh, oh, Rosita. Rosita went and told uh, Connie 
what the deal was with stupid ass Sebastian sending them on a heist to go get this money and how all these people are missing and uh, Connie is putting two and two together with the list she received saying these this list must be all the people they have sent all over time and of course Connie being the uh, journalist that she is and the investigator that she is Ooh, excuse me excuse me she is going to find out and I can't wait so I'm about to watch the mid-season finale and yeah so <laughs> did I miss anything I don't think so so if you made it to the end of this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video um thumbs up if you like my reaction as well go ahead and comment I know y'all have already seen this because I'm behind but yes comment 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 what you thought about this episode um <clears throat> And are you ready for creepy ass Lance and stupid ass Sebastian to be gone? I mean, y'all already watched it, but you know I am. And follow me on Instagram and TikTok at herstyles with a Z15. And all right, folks, I'll see you on the next one.